Everyone has a role to play, a job to do. Ours is to develop space. Every new building, every square meter has a story to tell. We are the ones that create it. A different story every time. My name is Carl Panettone, and I'd like you to hear one of those stories. Every story has a beginning. This one starts here, in our head office. What do we do? We build large format distribution centers. Our flagship? Build to suit projects. We find locations, plan, and build. We have a whole team of people behind every property. The beginnings of an investment vary. The adventure with Poland's biggest warehousing project in history started with an email. The sender was Amazon. Addressee, Panatoni, and the subject, two warehouses at 100,000 square meters each. The task, find a site with the appropriate infrastructure, design the facility, and build it as quickly as possible. Now on paper, this doesn't seem too complicated, but in reality, we'll see for yourselves. The first step is to find the right site. We needed sites with adequate utilities measuring no less than 27 hectares each. Such large sites are hard to find, and trying to piece together a few smaller plots can be quite a challenge. Therefore, we often enlist the help of specialized real estate agents who not only find appropriate land for investments, but also draw up preliminary feasibility studies. In the end, we verify the viability of potential locations in terms of the criteria essential to Amazon, such as well-developed road infrastructure. Proposals of several potential locations for development arrive at the design office. This is where architectural drawings are made. The structure is drawn on the proposed project sites. Taking into account a range of variables, we can ultimately verify which site meets the requirements for the proposed warehouse. At the same time, lawyers check the legal status of the selected sites. This is crucially important, especially when a given site belongs to not one, but for example, seven owners, as was the case with our investment. The next step involves sending pre-approved proposals to the customer. Amazon chooses the best one and... The professional approach pays off. The motto we live by is that customer expectation is the minimum we have to meet. Our aim is always to exceed those expectations by a large margin. The location has been accepted. Let's go back to the office for a little while. A green light from the customer means that now we take things to the next level. First, we select our partners, including the general contractor. We always go with market leaders to guarantee project execution. Then comes the time for formalities, involving a whole team of specialists on our staff who will work together with local authorities and administrative bodies in order to obtain the necessary permits and documents, who will negotiate site acquisitions and mergers, effect amendments to local zoning plans, and provide the necessary utilities and draft contracts with all parties involved in the project. Ahead of us, we have hundreds of pages of documentation, photographs, and emails. So we better get to work. The Amazon construction is underway. We're in Pose 9. 100,000 square meters of office space, 9,000 of which come from the two-story office building alone. 2,200 parking spaces, with over 100 parking spaces for trucks. There are more than 500 people working at the construction site every day, representing nearly 50 diverse industries and trades. This is the biggest warehousing investment in Poland. And it is really impressive. We are now standing on the overpass, which was made a prerequisite for the Amazon investment. The entire completed interchange features two roundabouts with full infrastructure, including cross streets, access roads, and service roads. It's nearly 115 meters long, and over 255 tons of steel was used in its construction. The investment cost 19 million zlotys. The interchange wouldn't have been built if it hadn't been for the commitment of a whole army of specialists. The project timetable didn't provide for any delays, no matter how small. The overpass was to be built in eight months. Even though to get the building permits for such a structure, you have to wait on average more than half a year. As you can see, we've succeeded. Well, we've come to the end of our story. Construction of the Amazon Distribution Center is now complete. Now the facility has begun a life of its own and can build its own history. 
Simultaneously, throughout 2014, we've been working on many other projects. Have a look.